uh, the art of closure of everything that is of all existence but no existence and so it is uh, you gotta love it all you got to love it all uh, basically this is the closure I feel the closure I felt it coming and I knew it was here and um, I don't know I've never loved someone like the way that I love uh, this girl but the whole time I knew it would never work I knew it was never gonna be and actually the first night the day we actually were able to be together and very compassionate for each other my ending statement that made her leave was like like I don't know I still don't know and Basically, she got a little bit angry about that because, like, um, we had just been very, uh, just together, passionate, and we together, and, um, I've always perceived that, like, my time, our time would end together, and I always knew, always knew that, I mean, no, it wasn't too, like, the second time after we broke up that I was like, okay, there's one more time coming. And we'll be together for three times and that'll be it and it's been three times and basically um, it ended and uh, if we ever see each other it'll be sometime in the future of course <laughs> but it just it just really cool it, it gives me some really uh, good um, background now to that I know intuitively some some more things about myself as far as um, um, I I really it's hard to describe but it just it gives me the confidence to you know to step out and just be me because I know me is everything that I am now and it's like I had I had to go through this situation and I explained in earlier videos that I was so fearful of of the situation because I didn't know what I would become afterwards and now I'm just I'm the same individual but I'm a much different individual and because I'm much stronger I'm much more um, able to talk to you now I was I was just gonna write just gonna write this all and then post it as a blog but now I'm talking and talking is my is my way to go and I know this and so just love all moments just love every moment that you can ever be in and I was in some pretty intense moments where I did not like those moments but I was still in a compassionate love state of okay I know it's all right I know it's all this is all right I know everything is good I know um, everything will be fine and all that kind of stuff you know and and so I was still loving the moment I just I really just I hated the feeling of that I was feeling and that was a loss of love and now I understand, you know, what death is, and and why we hate, why we dislike it so much, why we why we dislike like losing a loved one, losing your son or your daughter, or a parent or an uncle or or something like that because of the feeling of loss, basically in this world of separation. And I have no, I mean, I I had grandmas that died and grandpas that died and and people leave my life but they were never immediate like I never were like interacting with them daily and then all of a sudden they just died it, it was never like that for me so I really have had very I mean if any moment where I have I mean I have had friends where I had to choose to leave them because of different ideas and different, you know, because they were different people than I was. And it's the same thing here, we're just two different individuals and, and we just had to leave each other, but 
at the same time, I felt so, I felt so much like I lost her. And I know I, I never lost her, and I know that now, and I, I thank her for that right now, for, for letting me know that I never lost you, that we just chose not to be. And I've thought about it, and I think about many things a lot, and, and so I, I know I decided to make her leave, and so it was just like a mutual... Um, it was a mutual thing, and I I knew she was moving back to Florida. And whenever she told me that, whenever this last time, whenever we got back together, she was like, "I'm moving," and I was like, "Yeah, that's good. You need to, you know, grow. You need to become because now that you've been introduced to me, now you." Uh, have been initiated into the path to seek out the weird ones or the different ones like I myself and so therefore you'll be able to grow you'll be able to come to an understanding of everything I am and just like she introduced me to different things well now I'm I have the ability to grow and to become everything that I can I am and so it's like it was a mutual like soul trans I mean like exchange now we had our rough moments of course and we had all these moments of you know good and bad feelings about everything and so it was completely a mutual exchange and I love it I love it and I'm just so happy that she's gonna be happy because she's back home and um, where she needs to be, and, uh, and I'm just happy, and I'm just content with how everything worked out, and I know we're both are going to still have our traumatic moments in life, you know, but that's life, you know, you can't stop that, you can't, you can't stop life got to just move forward in life and I think that's another understanding that we have got that we both brought ourselves to it was I mean it was a really interesting interaction <laughs> even with all the pain and all the misery and all the suffering and all the love and all the compassion and all the you know points of just just being able to coherently exist with each other even though that we were so incoherent as far as who we were like as people as in general as people you know she she was definitely one thing and I'm definitely another thing and that just who we are at this point and um, but we had that internal you know bond that brought us together in the first place she was in a very crappy moment, I mean, she just, I mean, and I was in my own moment, as always, and I guess that's the same thing with her, she was, she's always in her moment, as always, and so now she's embracing this other side of herself, and I'm happy, I'm just really happy, and, uh, I don't know if I'll ever talk to her again, don't, you know, it's just whatever it is, and, it's fine. I'm fine with that. It's taken me weeks to get to this point, but I mean, it's fine. Everything's fine. And same, I'm sure it's the same thing with her. So, and what what's really interesting? This is what I was talking about. Like, okay, I gotta stop because I'm about to go over my limit. Uh, we'll talk to you in another moment, and uh, just love always, love every moment, peace well.